Former UK Prime Minister Tony Blair plans to step back from his role as Middle East Peace Envoy, as exclusively reported in the Financial Times. With me to discuss the decision is Lionel Barber, editor of the FT. So Lionel, is Tony Blair being pushed out? Tony Blair's camp is adamant that the former Prime Minister is not being pushed out. He's not stepping down. He's not even being eased out. But the facts are somewhat different. Uh, for some time now, it's been recognised, and not least by Mr Blair himself, that he's been treading water. Uh, he's got very bad relations with uh, important people in the Palestinian camp, and his role uh, representing the quartet has been in question for some time. I think the other very important point, although he has good relations with Secretary of State Kerry, in the European uh, camp, the new High Representative, uh, Federico Rogerini, is wants a, a clean break and a new approach, and that doesn't really re leave room for Mr. Blair. So explain to us why has he been so controversial in this role? Well, Mr. Blair, of course, was one of the chief proponents, along with President Bush, of the uh, war, the uh, war of choice against Iraq, uh, and he's seen as very close to the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. But I think the other problem, and this is a source of great frustration for Mr. Blair, is that there is an increasing concern, both in Brussels and in Washington, that he's got multiple roles and that the, dis the lines between his business role as an advisor uh, to sovereign governments in the region and his role as a super diplomat, these lines are being blurred. So what has he been up to in the region, apart from this um, calling card, which is the Middle East envoy? Well, again, uh, in the way that Mr. Blair operates, the lines become rather blurred, because at one level, when you talk to Mr. Blair, and I did interview uh, Mr. Blair for two hours in Jerusalem, he talks about a narrow focus on uh, economic development in the Palestinian territories, uh, unblocking uh, barriers to trade, uh, creating conditions uh, where business can flourish and in fairness until recently the Palestinian economy was doing very well but at the same time being a former Prime Minister of a decade he wants a high profile role he wants a political role and therefore he's seen as the trusted interlocutor for these sovereign governments and of course the Israelis but has he been a trusted interlocutor from what we understand he hasn't spoken to the Palestinians at least the Palestinian Authority and its president for for a long time he has a serious problem with the president, uh, Mr. Abbas. Uh, that relationship, to use a technical diplomatic term, is shot. Uh, what he does have is a good relationship, he says, uh, with the new president uh, of Egypt. He's been very keen to suggest that Egypt is not quite ready for democracy. That goes down very well with Mr. Sisi. And he's got good relationship with the crown prince of Abu Dhabi uh, and, and other places. So you have interviewed him in, in Jerusalem. Did he, did he show you any real accomplishments in the very limited mission that he had, which is to develop the, economic, um, to develop the economy of uh, the Palestinian territories? How would you assess that? Well, it was very difficult to assess in uh, less than 48 hours. And he certainly met some uh, important people, Palestinian dignitaries, uh, and the relationship seemed quite good. I must say it was a lot... Uh, even warmer and less stiff when he was meeting the Israelis uh, in Jerusalem. Uh, I think that it's quite hard uh, to assess the progress, not least, and I think this is something that Mr. Blair himself recognises, that without a political breakthrough in the Palestinian-Israeli relationship, you can't actually make the economics work. Is the quartet that he was representing, is this a useful mechanism? Do you think that if he does indeed uh, step back or step down, uh, that it should remain? Well, it's important to stress that being the chief envoy, the envoy of the quartet, was a great calling card for Mr. Blair, in addition to him being a, uh, a prime minister of 10 years in Britain. But the quartet itself, I believe, is useful because it's a way of bringing in the UN, uh, the EU, the Americans, and the Russians. However, Given that the Americans did make a serious push in the second term of Mr. Obama, President Obama, with Secretary Kerry, that point the quartet was sort of moved aside. Those talks, however, broke down and the Palestinians and Israelis are as far apart as ever. Lionel, thank you very much. Thank you, Ruler.